the film is about a 13-year-old boy named Jesse who decides he wants to be an artist but believes his mundane middle-class life hasn't really left him well enough prepared, so he goes out looking for wildness in women. We're recent graduates of film school and we were trying to figure out what film made sense for us to, to do. We, we, we wanted to make a feature, but it felt sort of unattainable based upon how much money we needed to make the projects that we were working on. So we wrote a number of screenplays, eventually writing Amy George, which we, we wrote with the intention of making for as little money as possible. We sort of came to realize that no one was going to give us you know, the money that we needed to make a, a, a big film. So, so we wrote a movie that took place in our backyard and you know, had our friends in it and used our friends' homes and a, a movie where we could pull a lot of favors. There's one thing which we, I think is the only aspect of the film that we have behind the scenes footage of, which is maybe why I recall it, um, which is there's a shot in the film where the parents of the lead character are sitting on a couch in their house and behind them in the window you see a cop car flash by and I remember that day uh, um, driving around Toronto desperately searching for a siren that we could get to actually go past and you know this is <laughs> um, so what we ended up doing was getting a little flashing blue light and a little flashing red light and me and another camera assistant took them put them on a board put them between us ran with our hands adjacent and ran across the the window as the parents looked on. Yeah, and I remember, we were, I remember, Yona and I were the only crew members shooting in the house, and we saw it run by for the first time, and it looked good. Like all it was, it was flashing lights and it zipped by, but I, I couldn't handle it because I could hear on the on the walkie talkies that I could hear the person cueing the you guys to run, and, and I, I, like, I could, I could just hear your little feet running and, and coupled with the, the lights flashing by as it go, went by. I had to close my eyes to get the shot because every time I'd shake so yeah, much just because be like... it was so hysterical. And that kind of sums up uh, independent micro-budget filmmaking is strapping lights to a plywood board and <laughs> making, <laughs> making that a police car. Making little teenagers and, run across the street. Yeah, and, and no, nobody knows. No, nobody nobody looks, knows. It looks it, legitimate. It, yeah, totally, totally plays. Mm -hmm.